Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So I am gonna jump right into this video with some nail prep. My nails look really crusty right now. I did have a press on set on, I kind of, well, a pop off set on and I ripped them off. So they're a little thin and they don't look all that great. I'm gonna be using a hand file today to remove the shine from my nails and a little bit of nail glue. They're pretty thin right now, so I don't want to go over it with a sandy band. So I meant to do a video on this a while ago, but I have purchased some cuticle oil from a subscriber. Her name and Instagram is on the top right or somewhere on the screen. Feel free to get some cuticle oil from her. This smells really good and I feel like this could be a perfume. Like I would definitely wear this as a body mist. It smells really good, I love it. And they're super affordable. Don't be scared to support a small business. So I am going to be creating a peel-off base coat today with her cuticle oil. I did apply a little bit too much, but I'm going to rub that in to my nail. Then I'm going to go in with some top coat and once I'm finished, I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I am using stiletto tips today and I will be adhering my nails with face gel and I do have my gel X lamp on the side. I'm then going to blend my tips with the nail using my sanding band. I'm then going to go use the base coat again. I'm going to apply it on the entire nail and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. For slip solution, I am keeping things simple and I will be using isopropyl alcohol today. For the poly gel, my cart sent this color over to me. And 
I love it, especially its shimmer and the pearlescent color. I'm going to begin application by placing a bead on the nail and I will begin to spread the poly gel.
here is how the application looks. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the sticky layer with some alcohol just so that when we begin filing, the, the poly gel doesn't stick to the file and make it all gummy. So now that we're done with filing, we are going to jump into gel art. I was just playing around with this nail set as I am doing it as a freestyle. So I did do that little chrome design off camera. I just wanted to make sure it looked right before I showed you guys. So I'm going to be playing around with a little 3D gel art. I did take some rhinestone glue and I'm using that to kind of just draw a line across the nail. For the middle finger, I am going to be doing a white aura design and I will not be using my airbrush today. I'm going to be using a sponge to kind of blend that in. I'm doing the aura on my middle finger and my pinky.
for the middle finger i did want to do that like wet type of bubbles type of look i don't know the exact name of that design but that's what i was trying to replicate on the middle finger so i'm doing that i'm kind of freehanding it and when i'm done freehanding this portion of the nail i am gonna go over that with some rhinestone glue once again car also sent their new the glux the glux i don't even know what to call it but they did send their solid builder gel over again and i guess this is a new color it's a glitter color it's like a champagne pink champagne color and i'm gonna put that in the middle I did cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and did it on my thumb as well. So I'm going to go over that and encapsulate that ball with some rhinestone gel again. And I'm going to cure that in the lamp as well for 30 seconds once I like the size of it. And again, I was just freehanding on the index finger as well. I was kind of just making some lines on the index finger with the rhinestone glue once again. Once I was finished with the nail art, I am going to top it off with some top coat. I am going to apply that on my entire nails and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm actually pretty satisfied with how they came out. This is my very first time like actually freestyling on my nails for a full set and I really do like these. I have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.